begin, though, with the Centers for Disease Control saying all Americans should stop vaping right now. Glad you're with us here today at 5. The CDC issued that alert as it's working to find out what specific elements are causing this string of severe lung injuries. Yeah, we want to get right to our Sandra Ali. She's here with new information on the warnings that just were released this afternoon, Sandra. They were, in fact, Kimberly and Devin. The CDC launching a multi-state investigation right now into the rapidly growing number of vaping-related respiratory illnesses. Michigan is part of that investigation. The urgent warning now comes as health officials in Indiana have already announced a new death tied to e-cigarettes. The CDC now reporting 450 possible cases across 33 states. At least three people have died. All are believed to have used e-cigarettes. This is a tragedy for the family involved and a great concern for us. The exact cause remains a mystery. Many of the patients also reported using THC. I didn't think that that little pod could do so much damage on, on my body. 18-year-old Adam Hergen Rader was rushed to the hospital last weekend. He's now taking steroids, antibiotics, and using supplemental oxygen. He's living proof of what this does. The, the pictures of his lungs, living proof of what vaping does to your lungs. A new editorial in the New England Journal of Medicine takes a closer look at more than 50 cases in Illinois and Wisconsin, finding most patients were healthy, male, and had a median age of 19. 98% were hospitalized. A third required ventilation. Shortness of breath, cough, and even some GI symptoms, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Sometimes we see blood in the airway, uh, which is, uh, can be alarming. The CDC believes a chemical is responsible, but hasn't yet identified a single substance, product, or device. In the meantime, officials are urging you not to use e-cigarettes or buy vaping products off the street. A fourth death now is under investigation. In fact, the CDC says e-cigarette use is never safe for young people or pregnant women, but tonight they are concerned about everyone. The median age is 19, which means a lot of people are younger Isn't than that, that. and that was part of the yeah. part of the governor's move yesterday, aiming at young people trying yeah. this. And they're talking a lot about young men right. connected yeah, to this exactly. as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right.